Daniel was one of God's people who was a slave in Babylon. But God had blessed him with power to understand dreams. Years ago, he had even helped a king of Babylon understand a dream. But now there was a new king in Babylon. One night, Belshazzar gave a banquet for many important people. <sighs> Suddenly, a hand appeared and began writing on the wall in words that no one could read. The king was very scared. But the king's mother remembered Daniel. There is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy God in him. Call for Daniel. He will tell you what the writing on the wall means. God has counted the days until your kingdom will end. You have been weighed on the scales and found not good enough. Your kingdom will be given to the Medes and the Persians. That very same night, Belshazzar was killed. A man named Darius the Mede became the new king. It all happened exactly as Daniel had said. In time, Daniel went to work for the new king, even though he served the God of Israel. Some men from the new kingdom of the Medes were jealous of Daniel and wanted to get rid of him. So they tricked Darius into making a rule that people could only pray to the king. If someone broke the rule, he would be thrown into the lion's den. But Daniel went to his house, got down on his knees, and prayed to God, just as he had always done. So, the men caught Daniel praying to God and told the king. The king was sad because he liked Daniel, but he couldn't change the law. May the God you serve all the time save you. So Daniel was thrown into a den of hungry lions and a huge stone was rolled over the entrance. But God sent an angel to close the mouths of the lions so they couldn't bite. Early in the morning, the king came to the lion's den. Daniel, has your God been able to save you from the lions? Yes, my king. God sent his angel to close the lion's mouths. They have not hurt me, because I am innocent. And that's how God saved the man who trusted in him.